Mr. Prime Minister. Welcome, uh, welcome to the White House. Welcome to the Oval Office. Uh, it's been a long time coming, and uh, and I'm, well, let me apologize again for uh, not being able to make my visit to Australia. Things were a little bit in disarray here, and it required me home, and so that's why I didn't. Uh, Delighted you're here. And together, you know, we've uh, worked together to build the strength of the alliance. And I think we've actually deepened that strength. I think we've moved in the direction that, uh, through our historic caucus partnership with the United Kingdom, and we've expanded economic uh, involvement with one another, with American investment in Australia being at an all time high under our administration. And in May, we strengthened our climate ties. And thank you, thank you, thank you for your move on climate. It's a big deal, including launching the new climate minerals uh, uh, and clean energy compact, because you have great assets that we can all use to uh, make sure that we move in the direction of clean energy. And today, we're taking our alliance even further with doubling down on cooperation on technology and science. This morning, we're going to discuss how all these efforts uh, can help advance a free, open, and uh, secure the Pacific. And I look forward to discussing how we can work together to address threats to the stability in the region and the economic stability as well, supporting Ukraine in the face of Russia's bitter aggression, and uh, to stand with Israel in the wake of Hamas's appalling terrorist attacks. So, Mr. Prime Minister, thank you very much for being here. It's an honor to have you. And thank you for your leadership and your personal friendship. Well, thank you very much, uh, Mr. President. It is uh, a great honour uh, for me to be here as Australia's Prime Minister. And our alliance, I believe, has never been more important, and it's also never been stronger. We've added a third tier. We have had defence, and we've had the economic relationship uh, defence through ANZUS, the economic relationship through our free trade agreement, but we've added a third part of this alliance front and centre as well through our clean energy, critical minerals and climate change uh, compact, uh, taking action uh, to protect uh, the world, to lower emissions, to take advantage of the shift to uh, clean energy, that the opportunity that presents to grow up economies as well, and to decouple, particularly for developing nations, to allow them to develop in a way at the same time as they're reducing uh, emissions and breaking that nexus between industrialisation and uh, emissions is so important. Uh, the AUKUS agreement is so central, and I thank you, Mr. President, for the work that you've done in uh, persuading legislators uh, to make sure that we put in place uh, the measures that are necessary to encourage that two-way uh, transfer of uh, defence technology uh, that will be at the centre of an agreement that's about peace and security in our region, uh, but also about prosperity in our region as well. Uh, in addition to that, uh, the work that we're doing together in the Pacific is very important. I know that you've hosted Pacific leaders twice uh, here in the White House, and that has been uh, very welcome. Uh, in today's uncertain world, uh, the alliance between Australia and the United States and the way that we stand steadfast against aggression, whether it be Russia's illegal invasion of uh, Ukraine or whether it be Hamas's terrorist attack on Israel, is something that uh, can be relied upon for us to stand up for our common values. And that's why uh, I very much welcome uh, this visit and uh, welcome the cooperation uh, that we're having, as well as our, our personal relationship. This is our ninth meeting in just the 16 months that I've had the honour of being Prime Minister. And I look forward to continuing to take the relationship uh, to a higher level, as we do Every time we meet today, we'll be advancing uh, technology agreement uh, between our two great nations as well. And innovation is so important that we're able to commercialise it to benefit both of our peoples. I thank you. We have made one member of my administration incredibly happy. 
with your strong move towards environmental protection. That's Secretary Kerry. Oh, indeed. <laughs> indeed. And he's, he's uh, shown great leadership, of course. He is. And uh, it, is, it is so important for, for us. The, the other area of our cooperation is, of course, in, in working on natural disasters. Uh, later, uh, I'll, be, I'll be visiting your emergency management authority. We've set up a similar model nationally based upon uh, what you've done here because uh, climate change is, is real and we can see its impacts uh, with wildfires, uh, with floods, and that is uh, just uh, a, a reminder every time uh, that we have a responsibility to this and future generations.